Okay, this is the first video solution uh, to question number one for the winter 2012 uh, exam, final exam. So we have a random sample of 300 students, and they were asked what their favorite uh, preferred course was, math, science, social science, or humanities, uh, and they were broken up and recorded by whether or not they were male or female. The researcher set out to assess if the distribution of the preferred area for liberal arts courses is the same for the two populations of all male students versus female students. What is the appropriate chi-square test to perform? Well, we have male and female students, so that means we have two populations. And what we're trying to do is see if the distribution is the same for the two populations. In other words, um, right, the, the phrase is the same gives us the tip-off uh, that we're doing a test for uh, homogeneity. Letter B says complete the sentence by providing all appropriate percentages. The results show that 24% of students uh, preferred math and science. However, if we just focus on males, so if we look at just this row, okay, the percent preferring math and science was, in this row, the number that preferred math and science was 37, and the total in that row was 122. That gives me 30.3%. And focusing on just female students, so now looking at just the female row, the number who preferred math and science was 35, okay, and divided by the total in that row is 178. And that gives me 19.7%. Letter C says, if the distribution for the, f for the preferred area for liberal arts courses is the same for the two populations, how many male students would you have expected to prefer the math and science area? Well, my yellow formula card is going to give me a hand here. Here we are in chi-squared tests. And the expected count okay, for test of uh, homogeneity or homogeneity is going to be my row total times my column total all over the total n. So my row total is 122. Right. My column total is 72, all over the big total, <clears throat> which is 300. And if I plug those numbers in, I get 29.28. Okay. My letter D says the data were entered into SPSS, and we're given an output uh, for a chi-squared test. And it says provide a well-labeled sketch. Okay. Well, we have to make sure to label our axes. The y-axis is going to be frequency, or excuse me, this is a density curve, not frequency. So this should be density. This is a chi-squared test, uh, so my x-axis should be chi-squared. And the way that that graph looks, there are a couple of different ways you could draw it, but this one will do just fine. Okay, and I need to label my curve. If you remember, the label of your curve is just chi-square with your degrees of freedom, which in this case is 2. To double check, I can look at my yellow formula card. Okay. And in fact, that is how I write my distribution, chi-square with my degrees of freedom. Okay. All right, and I need to uh, do the p-value. Okay. The value that I got, my test statistic was 4.64. So I'll draw a line here at 4.604, and I always shade to the right, okay? And I'll just label that as my p-value. Okay, great. Letter E says, at a 5% significance level, it appears that the distribution of the preferred area for liberal arts courses is or is not the same for the two populations. Well, my p-value was 10.01%. That's greater than my alpha of 5%, so that means I'm going to fail to reject. Fail to reject. Okay, the trick here is that I have to remember, well, what is my null hypothesis? For a test of homogeneity, which is what we're doing here, the null hypothesis uh, is that, <clears throat> excuse me, the groups are the same. Okay, so if I fail to reject that, then it appears that the distribution is the same for the two populations. Because if I fail to reject the null hypothesis, which is that they're the same, 
then I'm going to conclude that they are the same for the two populations.